It's on there. Yes, it's still on there. Did I just pop? No. Did I just lose it? I'm on another fish, guys. It's been like maybe 20 minutes, a half hour. I'm on one, guys. Hey, I'm on it. What's going on, guys? And welcome to another episode of All Mouth Bassing. I've been feeling a little bit sick for the last few days, so if I look or sound kind of like crap, that's the reason why, and I just want to apologize for that. But anyway, about the video today, I went out to a small local reservoir with the buddy Scoob a few days back. I've been trying and trying for a nice catfish bite lately. I've been having a little bit of luck here and there, but I haven't really been able to get on a consistent nice bite lately. And Scoob and I got out there a little bit ago and we ended up finally getting into a really awesome catfish bite. We got into some pretty good quality and uh, quantity, so really good time. Both of us had a ton of fun and it was just a good night in general. I'm not gonna spoil too much about it though, so if you wanna see how it went, go ahead, stick around, stay tuned and check it out. All right guys, I met up with old Scoob. He actually got out here before I could tell him what my plan was. So we're going to try to get on some bait fish and we're going to decide what we're going to do from there. The wind's kind of on and off. It's actually not too terrible, so we'll see what happens. But I'm down here where there's a little bit less weeds and hopefully we can get into some gills or sunnies over here, get a little bait. I got the old knockoff Crocs on, guys. The rugged sharks. Look at that sock tan line there. That's real nice. That only gets worse as the weather gets better. But anyway, I'm gonna. Oh, that water's cold. Oh, whoo! I don't like that. All right, water's real cold. But anyway, I couldn't get a good angle that I liked casting from where I was casting from. So I'm out here in the water. I'm gonna try a few casts from here. Well guys, I just lost that micro banger off camera. Honestly, probably a good thing I lost it off camera because I didn't react very well to it. I'm not excited about it at all. Okay guys, since my micro banger's gone now, I'm gonna move on to soft plastics. I'm gonna try out these little chartreuse. I think they're Yum brand. Uh, I think it's like a one and a half inch grub. It's a tiny little grub. I forget exactly what size, but pretty sure it's a young brand. It's chartreuse. I've got it on a chartreuse 16th ounce ball head jig. I'm gonna bounce this around a little bit out there, do a little jigging around with it, and hopefully I could get one of these sunnies to bite. Real bummed I lost that banger. There's one. What is that? Is that a trout? Yes, it's bait. Let's go. That is what we need, guys. It's a little tiny bit big, but it's not as big. I was catching some way bigger ones the other day, so I'll take this one for bait. All right, guys. Scoob and I are going to go ahead and chop this guy up and turn him into bait. All right, guys. Scoob's got his cut bait head right over there. I've got a middle section of that sunny right here. Got it on a, I've got a six uh, octopus hook with a little Carolina rig and a three quarter ounce egg weight rigged up. I'm not really sure what kind of rig he's running, but I'm gonna whip this out there and hopefully at least one of us gets on a cat bite. All right, got the bell on there. Hopefully it rings. All right, guys. Well, I wait to see about a catfish bite over there. I'm actually gonna throw this grub around a little bit more and hopefully I'm gonna try to catch, I think at least two more sunnies just for some backup bait. I've got a bucket here, so I'll live well them. So if we don't end up using them, we could at least 
let them back free and uh i've got it's a five gallon bucket so should be plenty big to keep them healthy for a while What? Oh, you got one? Yeah. Where, dude? I'll fill up that bucket with water. Give me a sec. I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. Scoob just caught one, so we got a little more backup bait. That's what's up. All right. We got one live weld. I was on a sunny. I'm not sure if I still am or not, guys. Oh, yeah. I think I am. It took me right into the weeds. <laughs> I got him, though. All right, that's three. I think Scoob and I should be pretty good on bait now. And this one's relatively small for this pond too, so that's good. Scoob got some slabs. He actually caught another one. That's why I said three, because he actually caught another one since the last time I talked to you guys. So, there's two of them. The one Scoob caught. I'm about to put this guy in there. And I think I might actually get another line out for cats and just relax for a while, honestly. Okay guys, I went ahead and I chunked up that Sunny. I've got it rigged up on a pretty much identical Carolina rig to the main rig I got over there. I'm going to get this sent out there and then I've actually got to pull in my other line and make sure my bait's still there because it got hit pretty hard but it got spit unfortunately so I'll have to see if it ate the bait or not. But anyway, going to go ahead and lob this out first and hopefully we could get this one bit too. All right, out there on the bottom, throw a bell on that. Now I gotta go check on the other rig. Scoop's hooked up, guys. And there goes my, oh my God. Is that all right? Yeah. I hit a slippery spot. <laughs> all right, Scoop's on a good one, guys. I'm back. Huh? Oh, Oh yeah, decent one. Let's go. Real decent. <laughs> always with no nets. <laughs> I said you and I always with no nets. I know. My camera's about to die too. Hopefully you get him. Bite your thumb? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Scoob got a nice one. That looks like probably at least 26, 27 inches. Not pounds, but that's a good fish. Hell yeah, Scoob. One, Let's bud. go, bud. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We're just shy of 12 pounds. That is a beautiful fish. Not bad at all, Scoob. That's awesome, bud. Sitting at 28 what's the, inches. What's the master, 28? I don't know. It's not far off. It's somewhere around there. There it goes. We had to let him go in shallow water, so he had to work for it, but. Oh awesome. yeah, dude. Nice scoop. Oh. It's on there. Yes, it's still on there. Did I just pop? No. Did I just lose it? No, it's still there. Yeah, All right. I'm on one, guys. My camera's being ridiculous. It's a decent fish, too. I want to get that fell off so bad i hate these bells wow guys this fish has been a struggle so far i had to uh i had to mess with my camera because uh oh he's got me in weeds i had to mess with my camera because it wasn't even it wasn't cooperating at all and now it's got me wrapped in my other line this fish is if i land this fish it's gonna be some kind of miracle guys but anyway my camera was acting up <laughs> had to fix that mid catch he just had me wrapping my other line, but I got him out. Had me all in the weeds. Whew, not a bad fish either. Let's go. <sighs> yes. Nice one. Let's go, guys. Sorry for such all over the place horrible footage, but whew, we got on a kitty, finally. All right, guys, this beautiful catfish is sitting right at 25 inches. 
not a bad fish at all i'm not going to get a weight on it scoob's got a scale but i don't feel like messing with this fish anymore i'm going to go ahead and get it in the water beautiful freaking fish so stoked this thing bit all right this fish wasn't really too interested in swimming away in that more shallow water so found some deeper water for it oh geez just rolled on my finger all right there it goes that time i was happy to swim off hell yeah let's go guys yep oh i'm on another fish guys it's been like maybe 20 minutes a half hour i want to get that bell off again you can get that bell off hopefully keep just enough pressure on it maybe all right we're still on it and i'm standing in water with my socks on awesome Oh man, he's trying to get me in the weeds. This is a nice fish. This might be bigger than the last one. Oh yeah, this is a bigger fish, I think. I think so. If not, if not, at least around the same size. It's pulling hard. Oh geez, guys, this fish is pulling. Oh yeah, this is a nice fish for sure. Oh yeah, it's a good one, man. Hell yeah. Oh man, this thing's pulling good. All right, I might even give it a tiny bit of, tiny bit more drag to work with, or a little less, I should say. I wanna pop this fish, it's a nice one. Hell yeah. It's coming, slowly but surely. Oh yeah, it's a good fish, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, that is a nice fish. Probably around the same size as the one you got, Scoob. Maybe a tiny bit smaller. Might actually just, yeah, it might be a little smaller. It's just real aggressive. It's probably only around the same size as the first one I caught, honestly. I thought it was gonna be bigger. Nice one, bro. Though. Yeah, it's fat. It's yeah. real fat. Another real nice cat. I think this one might be a little bit longer, actually, maybe an inch or two. Hell yes. I'm so stoked right now. Thanks, bud. Scooby even brought me the scale this time. Thanks, dude. All right, guys, we're locked in at right around, just right around 9.9. .9. Beautiful fish. Right around the 10 pounder. All right, guys, this beautiful fish came in right around 20, almost 28 inches. Actually, looks like right on 28 inches to me. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's get it back in the water, though. There it goes. Back off into the deeps. Hell yes. So, so, so tight, guys. What a beautiful fish. Scoop's hooked up again. He's about a minute into the fight already. Looks like it's another pretty good one. Scoop don't play no drag. He says, forget that. Power that pig in. <laughs> It's right there. That's the most anxious feeling ever because it's like you're right there. I know. I gotta get his mouth. <laughs> it's another nice one dude uh, hell yeah dude that's is that a blue no no channel i don't even that's barely smaller than your first one dude Jeez, hell yeah scoob it is a real real good night right now dude that is awesome nicely done my guy let's go dude let's go epic night dude 
Let's go. We just measured Scoob's cat and it's right around 28 inches. So that's 228 for Scoob tonight, 128 for me and 125. I would say that is a dang good night. Ah, get off my thumb. <laughs> that's what the other one did to me. Look at that. Yeah. Really? That's oh, okay. Nine. Right around nine. That's so funny. A nine, a ten, and an eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the girth, though. Oh yeah, beauties, dude. Look at he's been scraped up. Some awesome man. fish. Oh, I was from hitting them weeds on the land. Heck yeah, man. Nicely done, Scoob. Oh yeah. Well, guys, I did get Scoob's release shot on camera, but he ended up having to walk out like a few feet into the water to release his fish because where we released it was a little bit shallow. So I couldn't even really see with the camera where he was at and what he was doing. Hardly it was too dark. So no release shot for that one, but we did put it back. Every single fish caught today, except for the bait fish has been released. So it's just been an awesome night so far. Some real beautiful channel cats. We got so far we're on three 28 inches and a 25 incher, uh, eight pounder, a nine pounder and a 10 pounder. And I didn't weigh the 25 incher, but I can't really complain about a night like that ever. I'm, we're having a ton of fun out here, guys. So thanks for checking it out. And uh, hopefully we get on one or two more. We'll see. I'm on one, guys. Hey, I'm on it. This is on my lighter setup. I can't tell the size. Crap, I can't, I think it might have me wrapped on something. Oh yeah, I'm on it still. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. I wasn't sure how good of a fish it was till just now. I'm pretty sure that's a solid fish. Right? I really want to get that bell off, but I don't want to take pressure off this fish. It is freaking tearing it up out there. Yeah, that's a good fish for sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Like I said, this is my lighter setup, but still, it's not a bad fish. Oh yeah. She's cooking. I'm scared of that log out there though. Oh, it's, we're clear, we're clear, we're clear. Oh, maybe. It just darted for it right after I said we're clear. All right, we're good, we're good. Oh yeah, another decent fish for sure. Um, how am I gonna do this? Oh crap, trying to get around my other line here. <laughs> Tension back on it. lighter test on this one. I'm trying to be a little more careful. Oh, don't do that, buddy. Come on. Wow, guys. Look at the hook set on that fish. I have never seen such an official hook set on a catfish before. That thing was absolutely pinned. All right, guys. This beautiful cat comes in right around 26 inches. So... Another absolutely beautiful fish. Let's get this one back in the water too. All right, there she goes. Awesome, awesome. What a tight night, guys. This has been so much fun. So dope. Well, guys, I know some people say don't lip cats. And tonight I can almost kind of see why, but, uh, Sometimes that seems to be the easiest way to get a hold of them. That one cat just rolled on my thumb like five times though and absolutely shredded it. But anyway, aside from that, freaking awesome night. But unfortunately, I have work in the morning, so on a night like tonight, I would have no problem with staying out here all night if I didn't have anything to do the next day. But I got to go to work early in the morning, so it's getting pretty late, and I think it's about time we pack up and call it a night. So... 
Thanks for sticking around and checking it out, guys. I'll see you on the outro. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching another episode and thank you so much for sticking around till the end. As you could see, that was another absolute banger of a video. Scoob and I went out there and just had a ton of fun that night. When I first got out there, I was feeling a little bit skeptical because there was quite a bit of wind. And then Scoob got out, we decided to stick it out a little bit. We finally ended up getting on some bait fish, cut those up, threw those out, and we ended up on an absolutely amazing catfish bite. There are some blues and some flats in Colorado, but it's mostly channel cats we get on, and the majority of them are under 25 inches. So to get on the quality bite we got on tonight was just really, really awesome. Um, or I said tonight, I meant that night, I should say. But uh, it was just really awesome, guys. We got on some beautiful fish. We actually got on three 28 inchers. One of them was mine and two of them were Scoob's. And then the other two I got were over 25 inches too. So it was just a real nice quality bite. We got into to some decent numbers and just had a really, really amazing time. I know Scoob had a great time. I know I couldn't have had a better time. I love catching cats. They actually are one of my favorite species. And uh, I just, like I said, couldn't have had a better time. So I'm glad I was able to take you guys along with me again. So thanks again for sticking around, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, if you enjoy the content, please go ahead, hit like, subscribe, comment. Any of that stuff really helps a lot. So I really do appreciate all that. And that's about all I got to say about it. So thanks again, guys. I'll see you on the next one, and I'll see you on the water.